for your turn. It takes a look at what many consider to be the ultimate in musical instruments and the man who has devoted some 40 years maintaining that status. James Jansen is playing Chopin, and like many devotees of that classic composer's music, Jansen is of the belief it is best rendered on the Steinway piano. For 136 years, consider the quintessential American piano, and you won't get any argument from this gentleman. Former company president Henry Steinway represents the fourth and final generation of the Steinway family to produce the handcrafted pianos that revolutionized piano construction in 1853. You feel we sort of reinvented the piano in the mid-19th century with the use of iron and overstrung scale and so forth, and uh, still seems to give the best results. So Steinway organization is devoted to uh, piano manufacturing and nothing else. And through the years in their factory in New York, the Steinways have resisted the business temptations of mass producing their pianos. They make only 3,000 a year, aging their own wood, employing scores of craftsmen in a construction process that can take up to two years for each piano, and emerging with the quality that its founding father, Henry Engelhard Steinway, brought with him from his native Germany. And I think part of it is a certain consistency in that we have been doing this for a great number of years, and people know the name Steinway, and we think we live up to this name by trying to make the very best piano. And Steinway has resisted the fads of the industry, the player pianos near the turn of the century, the electronic pianos of today's rock era, just producing pianos with a process that gives each one a personality of its own. We sort of hate to admit it, and we try and make them as similar as possible, but each one comes out uh, a little different. And so a person who's sophisticated will want to select his own. Steinway dealers, like the Meridian Music Company here, keep a few concert grand pianos tuned up for visiting artists for their free use in local recitals. Securing the knowledge of the heavyweights in the field, from Vladimir Horowitz to Peter Nero to Roger Williams, consider the Steinway the only way to play. It's really the great pianists who have selected us. I mean, they're going to play the piano that gives them the best results. As for Henry Steinway, president of Steinway & Sons until his 1972 retirement, well, the delights of his product somehow escaped his musical muse. Well, I'm sorry to say I don't play at all. I take many lessons, but uh, I can't play. Steinway models run from $9,500 to fifty dollars for the concert grand, with many purchased strictly as fine furniture. But for so many enthusiasts, a very small price to pay for the Steinway touch that is always music to the ears. Read Duffy, Channel 6 News. Sorry we didn't catch that tune from Duffy there, man. Right. <laughs> Chopsticks or something. <laughs> That's right. Here's some of the stories you'll see next at 6 o'clock. The nation's pilots are going by the book today. It's a slowing down of airplanes coming in and going out of Indianapolis. Gary Dick will have a live report for you. I told him that I didn't want to die. Uh, what was he saying to you? He told me he was still here because he loved me. This is Lisa Marie Bianco. She was murdered over the weekend in Mishawaka. Her death could change things, and the state correction system will tell you how. Plus, what has the 89 General Assembly accomplished so far? We'll hear from Democrats on a unique situation in the House. And these stories and much more coming your way at 6.